In this Picmonic, we will learn about the seven stages of Spencer, also called the Spencer Technique. This Picmonic tells the tale of the difficulty of getting along perfectly with roommates. The Spencer Technique is an osteopathic treatment modality that targets the shoulder girdle, shown by the shoulders and girdle, which consists of the clavicle, scapula, humerus, and their associated joints. This treatment is highly effective for adhesive capsulitis, or frozen shoulder, and the most common joint targeted is glenohumeral, as it is the most affected by adhesive capsulitis. The Spencer Technique is an articulatory technique, shown by the article, which are direct techniques, meaning the dysfunction is taken to its restrictive barrier, and passive, meaning the force is applied by the practitioner. In articulatory techniques, the force applied is low velocity, with moderate to high amplitude, and the dysfunction is carried through its full range of motion. Muscle energy activation, shown by the muscle man energy in active gear techniques, can be used to enhance the treatment. Muscle energy is performed by the practitioner passively moving the patient's joints into the restrictive barrier. Then, the patient moves against the practitioner's resistance, away from the barrier for a few seconds. Then, the patient relaxes and the practitioner moves the joint into the new restrictive barrier. The Spencer technique is performed with the patient in the lateral recumbent position, with the arm to be treated up. The seven stages are performed in the following order. Extension, flexion, circumduction with compression, circumduction with traction, abduction, abduction with external rotation, internal rotation, and distraction. Use the mnemonic, every fancy cat takes an indoor dump, depicted by the fancy cat sitting in the litter box. First is extension, depicted by the extension cord in the patient's arm. The practitioner faces the patient and places one hand at the top of the shoulder joint. The other hand grasps the elbow, which is flexed. The arm is then brought posteriorly to bring the shoulder into extension. At the restrictive barrier, a springing or oscillatory motion may be applied. Muscle energy technique can be used at the barrier. Next is flexion, shown by the flexing doctor. The practitioner uses one hand to hold the top of the shoulder joint, while the other grasps the patient's hand. The elbow is extended and the arm is brought forward to bring the shoulder into flexion. Muscle energy can be used at the barrier as well. The third stage is circumduction with compression, depicted by the compression vise on the shoulder. The patient flexes the elbow and the arm is abducted to the restrictive barrier. The practitioner then applies slight compression through the elbow to the shoulder joint. While compressing, the elbow is moved in circles. The fourth stage is circumduction with traction, shown by the tractor pulling the patient's arm. The arm is abducted to the restrictive barrier. In this stage, however, the elbow is extended. The practitioner grasps the wrist and applies slight traction upward. The arm is then moved in circles to produce circumduction at the shoulder joint. Stage 5 is done in two parts. Stage 5A is abduction, shown as the abs. The practitioner grasps the shoulder with the most cephalid arm. The patient is then instructed to grasp this arm with the arm being treated. The practitioner then moves the shoulder into abduction using the elbow as a lever. Then stage 5B is performed. This is the adduction with external rotation, shown by the adduct tape on the arm. Similar to the position for stage 5A, the patient rests the wrist on the practitioner's arm. The practitioner moves the elbow down toward the table which induces adduction and external rotation at the shoulder joint. Stage 6 is internal rotation, depicted by the internal medicine doctor rotating. The patient's arm is abducted about 45 degrees, and the dorsum of the patient's hand is placed on the patient's low back. The elbow is then pulled anteriorly, inducing internal rotation at the shoulder joint. Finally, stage 7 is distraction, depicted by the dice tractor. The practitioner places the treated arm on their own shoulder. Then, using both hands, the shoulder is grasped just inferior to the acromioclavicular joint. The practitioner applies an inferior scooping motion to the proximal humerus, causing distraction at the glenohumeral joint. So, let's quickly recap the seven stages of the Spencer technique. This technique is typically used to treat somatic dysfunctions of the shoulder girdle and is highly effective for adhesive capsulitis. It is an articulatory technique and uses muscle energy activation. The steps are extension, flexion, 
circumduction with compression, circumduction with traction, abduction, adduction with external rotation, internal rotation, and distraction. Living with roommates can be hard sometimes. Take this odd couple for example. One is completely lazy and only plays with a spinner all day. He does so little that he wears a girdle to hold himself upright enough to use his shoulders. When his roommate asks him to perform chores, he says he's too busy reading articles. So his muscle man roommate has to use all his energy to clean the house. And Muscle Man really wishes that his partner would stop playing with his spinner and help him because it's cat litter day and it's loaded. Why? Because every fancy cat takes an indoor dump and their cat is the fanciest. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our treatment modalities, Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from muscle energy, counter strain overview, high velocity low amplitude thrust, or HVLA, myofascial release and soft tissue, Zinc's common compensatory pattern, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.